Hey guys, welcome back to Living In My Now. I have so many wonderful updates. I am so excited to share them with you. So I'm just going to jump right in. But before I do that, turn on those bell notifications. Yes, you know you want to do that. And you know you definitely want to subscribe too. Yes, subscribe. Subscribe. Definitely like right now. Just hit. It's, it just takes a second just to hit that button. Because... I think I might post a video next week just to make up for me not posting, but it's been a lot of changes. That's why I haven't been posting, so I'm just going to jump right into it. So, one wonderful update is I just had a birthday, August 3rd. I'm excited. This is the first year I did not do anything for my birthday. Typically, I do something pretty big or extravagant for my birthday because what I've learned from my aunt who just turned 90, her birthday was actually... Oh, it's August 11th, so it's actually today. <laughs> um, what I learned from her is she said as she got older, like she celebrates the whole month. With me, I just do something really big or extravagant. I travel or whatever, and I did not do that this year because with my next blessing, um, I wasn't able to do that, <laughs> which I'll share with, in just a moment with you. But, um, well, I actually I'm just going to go to it now. So my next blessing was, as you guys know, my job was causing me a lot of stress. It was long hours, which brought on my stress-induced migraines, uh, which made me very sick. And literally all I can do was go to work, go to school, come home, sleep, barely had time to do chores and other things. And everything stressed me out. It was horrible. Well, I interviewed the beginning of July for another job for a housing access coordinator. And I got hired. And this will be my third week. Yeah, this will be my third week because I started, I believe it was the 20th. The last week of July is when I officially started. I vibe so well with the managers and everyone else. And the job is amazing. I help people with disabilities find housing. Um, most of them are low income or Section 8. So it takes a lot of finessing to get them into these properties simply because of... Um, income and different things and it, it it gives you a whole different perspective and it's been a blessing to serve them and help them and just get to know them it's, it's been such a blessing and I've always been a people person that always want to help people so this job is is it fits my personality especially being a psych major and wanting to help people it, it all fits in with me so that has been a blessing um the job is incredible. It's incredible. So I couldn't go to my aunt's 90th birthday party like I wanted to do to kind of celebrate my birthday with her because they had like a huge get together. Because I was changing jobs and my finances were going to change so I get paid more, it's a longer wait period between my last check for my last job and my first check for this job. So <sighs> couldn't do anything, but I will make up for it and I will take a video footage when I do go celebrate because I'm going to do something really big. I just don't know what it is yet. Another exciting blessing is I got to do my nails. I haven't did it my nails in eight months because I was so stressed for my other job. <laughs> so that's an exciting blessing. Um, another thing from the sermon today, I got a blessing from that um, because my pastor was like, you know, you need to celebrate in the trials. You need to turn those complaints. He was talking about murmuring and complaining. That's what it was. And he said, we need to look at the blessing in that. Like he said, if you can't find a parking spot, um, you need to be grateful because at least you have a car that's what that says you have a car that gets you to a place most people don't have some people don't have cars so be thankful for that also be thankful that you're able to walk because you can walk into the store or walk into wherever you're going and you're not better at, you know so there's always something to be thankful for and not murmuring and complaining so in my past situation with my job Yes, that was a very big trial, but there was a lot of things that happened from that job. So that kind of gave me a new perspective on that. But that job was a blessing all in all, although it stressed me out. <laughs> it was still a blessing and I was still able to help a lot of people. And I'm going to miss my patients and I'm going to miss some of my coworkers and the people that I've met through my old job at HCMC. That's where I used to work at a hospital. So that was a blessing. What else has changed? Oh, one thing that has changed because I did not, I was not able to get out and see people and spend time with friends. And when I was having those panic attacks, that's something my therapist said I should have been doing was getting out and seeing friends and doing things that I really liked, like doing my nails. <laughs> and I have been spending time with friends. I actually went down past Rochester and spent time with one of my friends this, actually this weekend. I went down on Friday early because I finished work early. I did 48 hours last week. It didn't even feel like it. And I went down hour and a half, 
hung out with her and her family, caught up with her. It was a lot of fun. I actually have plans to go hang out with some other friends tomorrow and on Friday. So it's like I'm getting back to normal now. And I thank God for it. It has been such a blessing. I'm actually working on a collection for uh, my jewelry business, which runs, well, I do physical shows from October, yeah, about October, to right up to Christmas. So I do shows for that. And I'm working on my website. God has been telling me to work on my five-year plan, um, which I'll share that. That's future videos that are coming, which I might start posting those next week. I, it just kind of depends. Um about goal setting, how to do that, how to come back from like an illness because hopefully soon I'll be able to get off my medication. My school starts in on the 26th actually. School starts on the 26th for me. I'm taking three classes. I'm trying to knock it out. Once I get to my transfer school, which should be next semester, I should have my bachelor's degree. You won't believe it in a year because they double up on their classes. All their classes are accelerated from my understanding. So I should have my bachelor's degree in a year to year to have get out so i'm excited like i said lots of updates lots of really great blessings god has been so good to me and i just can't explain it if nothing else from these updates i'm telling you this to tell you it is worth it to follow god it is worth it to do right even when times seem dark and things seems like they're not going your way still stay close to God, still stay faithful, still do what you know is right. Because in the end, God is <laughs> God is going to show true. Even in the midst of the trial, God is going to show true because things could always be a lot worse. And even when they seem that they're at their worst, God is still there with you. So I hope this has been an encouragement. I hope these updates made you guys see that God is still good. And God is not done with you. Until you're dead, God is not done with you. <laughs> and I'm thinking about, I might post next week. But go to Facebook, Living in My Nail. Go look at that, because I'm going to be posting on there as well. And I will see you guys maybe next week, maybe in two weeks. Not sure. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Bye, guys.